Just as chemicals come together and react with one another, students at the Canterbury University have done the same. This compare contrast exhibition is a collaboration between science and fine arts. Chemistry students tasked with the job of communicating scientific concepts to fine arts students. From here, these creations were born. They explained to them a chemical process or a chemical phenomenon or a reaction, and the artist then used that to um, feed into a work that they made in response to it. So not a direct illustration of the, chemi the chemical reaction, but um, expanding and extrapolating the idea. Madeline Granger sculpted this design, showing a hybrid combination of plants and technology, coexisting together as a vision of the future. Using this copper wire in a fishbowl to show the plant slowly dying. Yeah, it's sort of like the idea of them coexisting, but they can't really because, um, because it's like suffocating the plant. The university exhibition gives chemistry and sculpture and design students a greater understanding of the comparing and contrasting aspects of their own disciplines. We don't normally like think about the terms that we use and we kind of think that the terms that normal people would like just use commonly. Postgraduate students curated the exhibition, finding the collaboration between the students worked well. I think um, this sort of thing's never not going to come without um, trials and tribulations because they've never worked together before, they've never done a project like this before, so I think um, from my uh, observations. I think it was really, it was really productive. The diverse range of students created 20 of these pieces of art sitting on display within the biology department. Emma Cropper, CTV News.